Good evening, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0 Day 45. So today we're going to start our series on sites, and we're going to begin that series with a video regarding agent sites. So in order to start configuring and building out your agent site, you're going to want to come down our applet menu here, find the icon for sites. This should be the second or the last one, depending on whether you have listing consult or not. It just looks like a little website here with the icon down at the bottom right hand corner. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And when we do, you'll see we have three pages, landing pages, agent site pages, or neighborhood pages. So we're actually going to click on the agent site pages tab. And when we do that, you'll see a banner comes up that either says, see your configured agent site here, or it may say you haven't configured your site, please click here in order to do so. So we're going to go ahead and click on configure your site here on the right hand side. And the first question it says is who are you going to utilize? So if I want to continue, if I want to use the new, the brand new KW agent sites, which I recommend we do, I would click the first icon. If you want to continue on with your Playster site, you would like to keep using it and you just want to use it with your KW subdomain, you can do that or you can explore other options and go to the KW Marketplace. We're gonna teach you how to actually build out your new KW agent site. So option number one, checked, click on Submit. And the next thing it's gonna do is it's gonna take you into the Kelly Guide for building out agent sites. It's gonna tell you what you can expect. So first of all, you're gonna choose a subdomain. Second, you're gonna build out your theme and styling. Third, you're gonna walk through and build out your pages and manage the content on the new site that you just created. So we're gonna click on get started. We've got a compliance reminder that pops up that basically says, hey, all of your agent sites must meet the following requirements. You must have your market center or brokerage DBA logo. You must include the ownership statement and may be placed in the website footer. You must be compliant with any of your local board commission laws and rules. Basically says, hey, check with your local licensing authority and board and your market center leadership to ensure that your agent site meets the requirements, including brokerage or market center DBA size and prominence. You can click here. There's a link to find your approved market center logo. So if you don't have that already downloaded, you can follow this step to, K to go to KW Connect, the logos and branding page and download your actual market center logo. Finally, it says Keller Williams Realty International is not responsible for verifying the accuracy of your website branding. So guys, this is really important. It depends on where you are and how aggressive your board or state may be. And yet there is possible fines that could occur if you're not paying attention to the formatting properly of your agent site. I'm going to acknowledge this compliance reminder by clicking on acknowledge and continue. And I'm going to be taken into the first step of the Kelly Guide for Agent Sites, and that's selecting your subdomain. So you can see on the right hand side here, I have the ability to choose a subdomain. You can't alter the .kw.com. However, you can select what happens before that. So you cannot have spaces or special characters, and you have a max character length of 30 characters. But if you change your subdomain, you are releasing any previous domain that you had once saved and it can be claimed by other agents so for right now you can only have one subdomain registered with kw.com and you're going to select that here next you're going to start figuring configuring all of your marketing information so the majority of this information will start to be pulled in and yet you're going to have to go through and make sure that it's accurate and fill in any blanks so obviously first and last name, brokerage, market center um, address, your professional job title, email, cell phone numbers. You're going to want to fill in your bio, your agent license number, uh, your compliance and legal footer, market center brokerage license number, market center phone number, and then you're going to start filling in your compliance legal footers. And I just realized that this one does not have each office is independently owned and operated. So I'll make sure that that goes in. Next, you have imagery. Oh, sorry, guys, I thought I was going to sneeze in there. So you've got your profile picture. You want to make sure that you upload that. You can see the recommended size there is 360 by 360. 
you want to upload your Market Center brokerage logo, which you should have already downloaded at some point from KW Connect. You can now re-upload that here. And then if you have a team logo or you want some other kind of logo in the header, you can see it here. You can upload that there. Next, if you have social media channels, you want to go ahead and put in all of your social media channels. That's going to actually show up in the menu of your website so people can actually go through and follow you on all of these different pages. And then finally, you have your app link. You want to make sure that's included as well. Once you have done all of that, you'll click on save and continue. Footer link must be a valid URL. Did I put it in the URL? I put it in the title. Let me just see if I space and save and continue. Footer links must be a valid URL. Okay. So maybe that's why it wasn't there earlier. So let me just remove that for right now and click on save and continue. I'll figure out how to get that in then just a touch. So next we have the style and theme. So you can choose whether you want it to be red themed or dark themed. Uh, it doesn't change a whole lot. Basically the KW here changes a few other minor changes with regards to color. I'm just going to go ahead and leave mine as red. You're moving on to the home page text. So you can see I've got let's find your next home. Let's find your next home is what I have for my home page text here, but you can change that to whatever you would like. And then you have the ability to upload what are called hero images. And these are the images that are going to show rotating through the background of this main page. So I actually went through, I live in Katy, Texas. So I found some kind of very prominent pictures of Katy and I uploaded those and then some designer photos from some of the builders that we have here in the area and I'm using those for my my hero images you have five stock ones you don't have to change them if you like those stock ones you can utilize those you don't need five you could go with one two three four or five so just so you know there if there's just a couple you don't care for you can remove those and you do not necessarily need to replace them once I click on save and continue it's going to take me into step three where I can start customizing site content. Okay, the first drop down here is navigation. You can see there are three pages, company profile, about me, and contact us. I can move this around if I choose to by just clicking and dragging, and that's going to change the order that these pages show up in my menu. Next, I'm going to click on search engine optimization. The first page that we have to worry about is company profile. So you can see this is the URL slug. So it's going to be martymiller.kw.com backslash and then whatever I type in here. Okay. I could then put in an SEO description. I have not done that, but think about keywords, um, basically a sentence or two that makes sense and also has keywords. So I could do something like um, Marty Miller is a licensed realtor in Katy, Texas, working with buyers, sellers, and investors looking to purchase or sell homes in the Katy, Cypress, West Houston, and well, I'm running out of characters. So uh, in the Katy and Cypress areas. Okay, so I've got realtor, I've got buyers, I've got sellers, I've got investors, I've got purchase homes, sell homes, Katy and Cypress areas. So it's a lot of content keywords that are there. Next, we can click on content and you get to start filling in all of this information below. Okay, so you have an intro paragraph about your company, then you have a headline description. Um, you have, so you can see basically, here's the quick description. So if I start typing in things here, you can see in the middle of my screen over here, this information starts to go away. So I can type in whatever I would feel would go there. I could put in some headline titles here. So maybe this is a little bit about the company and then I could talk about myself. I might be talking about the rest of the team, right? You can kind of go through and put in information. Then you have your footer at the bottom as well. So there's the footer headline and the description to fill in that information as well. I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. Next, I've got the about me page. So that's pulling in for my KW Connect profile. So that's already there. I could go in and do the SEO description again. I can play with the content. Should I choose to kind of edit that, switch anything up? Should I choose to do that? I can click on continue. 
The last page that I can change up is basically the contact us page. So here's the SEO description of this page. Summit Property Group helps buyers, sellers, investors pursue their real estate goals in Cypress, Katy, West Houston, surrounding areas. And then the content, basically, what is this paragraph gonna say? Here's the intro paragraph. What's a message hint? So I can actually type in what goes in this box as well. And then I can finally put my phone number down here at the bottom and my email at the bottom and click on save and continue and that will update and save there and that's basically it guys so for right now my site would be built out at martymiller.kw.com my menu would have three pages i would have the contact us i would have the about me and i would have the um what was the third now oh a uh, company profile so that's the basic site that I would have available to start building out. Now, as we move on in this challenge, I'm going to have a couple of other videos that talk about some additional things that we can add. We'll also get into uh, landing pages and then configuring additional pages on our agent sites. So look forward to that. That'll be coming up over the next couple of days. Uh, but for right now, that's it for the evening. Hope you guys, as always, are having a fantastic night and I'll look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks so much.